Hey guys, Mr. B here again, bringing another awesome math video. In this video, I'm just going to take you through um, a few simple linear equations and how to solve them using models. Specifically, the most common one probably using in your classes is algebra tiles. So, first things first, these are algebra tiles. So these little squares that sort of represent some algebraic expressions. So this yellow tile usually used for X. So for example, I have one, two, three of these yellow tiles. That would represent three X. Okay. So the yellow being positive. This red guy here, these two red rectangles would represent negative X's. So if I have two of them, all that means is that I would have negative two X. And these little squares, these are called one tiles. Well, maybe I should label this guy. This one is called an X tile. And these are called ones tiles. And the positive will represent just um, plus one. So we have two of them, so that will be plus two. And the red one are negative, so that's negative two. Anytime you have um, the same, the opposite color tile, like a red and a yellow, or yellow and a red, that represents a zero pair. So these would cancel each other out. Okay, because they're exactly the opposite. It's like if you have one and then you take away one, you have nothing, so they cancel out. So those are called zero pairs. All right, so hopefully you've seen these before. If you're, you know, attempting to solve these equations, it's not your first time using algebra tiles. So first things first, if you have an expression, I've got this one marked up a little bit already. Let me erase that. Um, eraser. There we go. I don't think the answer is negative 6 anyway. So um, so first things first, if you have one of these on a test, what I would recommend is where you see the equal sign is sort of put a, a squiggly line down through to represent both, si uh, both sides of the equation. So now what you need to do is you need to sort of um, fill in the equation like you have it. So I have a positive 8, so I need 8 of these little 1 tiles. So 1, 2, 3 three, four, and it can be a pain to draw if you're doing it on a test or anything like that. But remember, just a tool to help you solve these equations. So I have eight of these one tiles. Now I have negative two here. So what I need to do is add two of these little red tiles. Now I'm on the other side of the equation. And I have plus two x. So I'll take this tile and then this tile. So basically my goal is, guys, is to have such that I only have um, X tiles on this right-hand side, okay? So I need to get rid of this these two red tiles. So what gets rid of red tiles is yellow tiles. And one of the rules we use when we're solving equations is we can do something to one side as long as we do it to the other. So if I want to get rid of these red tiles, I bring in its nemesis, which is the yellow tile. And if I put these yellow tiles here next to these red tiles, I create a zero pair. So all that zero pair does is it cancels out that red tiles, right? So the red tiles are gone, those yellow tiles go with it. But I also have to remember that if I do something to one side, I have to do it to the other. So since I add it to yellow to the right, I have to do it to the left. So these things disappear, and they're gone. I'll throw them down here, just so we, you know, they're still in our head that they happened. So the next thing I have to do is, since I have two of these X tiles left, uh, that means I have to make two even groups, all right? So I like to sort of align them exactly the same way my X tiles are orientated. So I'm just going to sort of distribute each one. Um, it's going to get one block at a time. So one and one. I know I've already got two groups here, but I'm just doing this as I would on test. So one and one, and then one and one. And one, and one, and I got one more left. And then here we go. So what this means is that, so if I have two X, I have um, 10 blocks. All right. If I have one X, I have five blocks. So it's one X equals five. So th that little group there represents our solution. So what you can do if you're on a test, you can sort of give it a little circle. And then you can write your answer. So 
x equals 5 or x equals 5, just like that. And there's our solution. Now you can always check this, all right? So um, you guys are capable of doing a little bit of simple math, I'm sure. So where you see your x, you can put your solution. So if I put my 5 right here, I can just do a little quick little math. So negative 2, so 2 times 5 is 10. And if I add those together, negative 2 plus 10 is 8. So I get both sides of my equation equal. Well, that means that my answer is correct. I'll do another one. <clears throat> All right, so I got 2x. So 2x is my ones. My x tiles are orientated a little differently this time. That's no big deal. And then I've got my 3, so I need positive 3. 1, 2, 3. And then I'll draw my little squiggly line. And then I'll add 13 of these. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'll just copy it a few times. So that's 7, 8, 9, 10. And then... Why did I do red? Didn't know why I did that. All right, let me try again. Let me copy these three. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten. And then 13. All right, sorry about that. Now, next thing we need to do is add our zero pairs to get our x's by ourselves. So we want these 2x by itself. So I'll add these three zero pairs here. Cancel out the yellow with the red. But just remember, I have to do it to both sides. So I have to add three more red on this side. Just like that. So I have zero pairs over here that I can cancel. So I'll toss those down here. And then I also have zero pairs over here, right? So even if it doesn't matter, as long as they're opposite colors, we can cancel them out. So now again, I've got a situation where I've got two tiles. So I'll stack them up a little bit like this just to make two even groups. So one, and then I'll just distribute these. Everyone gets one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, and then 10. So one of these groups is the solution to my equation. So this guy right here we can use, and that's x equals 5. And there it is. That's the solution to my equation. So I can easily check that. 2 times 5 plus 3, if I did it right, should equal 13. So 2 times 5 is 10 plus 3. And then, obviously, 10 plus 3 is 13, so we are gold. We got the right answer. All right, guys, I hope that helps somebody. And um, if you like this video, if it helped you in some way, feel free to subscribe, like, share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in class.